Happy holidays to everyone. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. This is the season to be jolly. Fa la 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 la. It's the most wonderful time of the year. From Thanksgiving into Christmas, it's awesome. It's very interesting that we actually have a day where we celebrate Thanksgiving. <laughs> what do we do? We say give thanks for the Lord is good and he's always been good. We'll forever praise the name of Jesus. Oh, Jesus. We're giving thanks, grateful, 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 gratefulness. Flowing from my heart is gratitude. It, it is a key secret to success in life. It's what I call the attitude of gratitude. Come on, touch your neighbor, say attitude of gratitude. Go ahead, bump your six-year-old, say attitude of gratitude. You should be grateful. Now, you don't want your attitude of gratitude to keep you from pursuing greatness. You want to be satisfied with a satisfaction that's never satisfied, and at the same time, grateful for the things that he has done. Grateful for the victories that he that we have won. I could go on and on and on about your works because I'm grateful, flowing from my heart. Come on, Hezekiah Walker. Flowing from my heart is gratefulness. I I can still, I can be ambitious and have goals and be pushing and be grateful for every ground I took, every step of territory that I took. That's Thanksgiving. Flows from my heart. It's an attitude of gratitude. That attitude of gratitude will get you over things. In spite of whatever you've been through, things could be worse. In spite of whatever took place this year, things could be worse. It doesn't take much to find somebody that would gladly trade places with you. Of course, you can find somebody that you want to trade places with them, but gratitude comes from you seeing someone less fortunate than you, and that comes from serving. The people who have the most issues with gratitude are the gimme, gimme, I want more, where's my next thing people. Anyone who realizes that there is a strength in serving your fellow man, anyone who gets that understands the power in it. All you have to do is volunteer. All you have to do is serve. All you have to do is go down to any soup kitchen. All you have to do is volunteer at a homeless shelter. All you have to do is go volunteer at a hospital where people or kids are sick. It, it's not far from you. Gratitude is close. It's just simply a matter of walking a mile in someone's shoes who isn't as fortunate as you. And gratitude will flow. That attitude of gratitude gets you through. I may not have everything I want to have, but I'm not where I used to be. I may not be where I want to be, but thank God I'm not where I used to be. Sure, there are things I'm still believing for that have yet to come to pass, but you know what? God's been so good. I couldn't tell it if I tried. I could have been dead down in my grave, but God told death to stand back and behave. Sometimes I sit and cry. There's so many reasons why God's been just that good. Always making a way where there seems to be no way. Everything may not be perfect with my child, but I sure am grateful. Getting on my nerves, but could be worse. Everything may not be perfect in this job, but I got a job, I got a check. This may not be my most amazing place to live ever, but you know what? I got a roof over my head. I got lights on. I got some food in my mouth. I got some shoes on my feet. I'm grateful. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy 
moment to practice an attitude that we always ought to have, the attitude of gratitude. Gratitude helps you appreciate things. Gratitude helps you appreciate this person that's sitting next to you. Don't know what you got until it's gone. You don't want the people you love to think that you are not appreciative of them. Take a minute and tell somebody you love them. Take a minute and tell somebody you're so grateful that they're in your life. Happy Thanksgiving. For me, Pastor Andy, can I say it? My daddy was a pastor. He became a bishop in a denomination. I grew up in a denomination. This is not what I wanted to do with my life. I saw it, I knew what the life was like. But God called me and anointed me and gifted me. And my spiritual father, who is now with the Lord, showed me the way and helped me to accept this call and this power. And I'm so glad that I did. It's the greatest thing I could have ever done with my life. I'm so grateful. I'm so glad to be in North Carolina. I'm so glad to be at World Overcomers. I'm so glad to be your pastor wherever you may be around the world. I'm glad that you come and hear us preach. I'm glad that you hear a word. I'm grateful there's people out there like you. While Mona Lisa's and Mad Hatter's sons of bankers, sons of lawyers turn around and say good morning to the night, I'm just glad. Only in his hometown amongst his relatives is a prophet without honor. I'm so grateful to be here, grateful to be used, grateful to be alive, grateful to have the gift of God flowing in me, and grateful for your continued service and support. It is the greatest thing I could have ever done. I can't think or imagine anything else better than being a senior pastor, founder of World Overcomers. It has been amazing. And I wanna do it more and longer. And I wanna keep on running on to see what the end's gonna be. I'm grateful. So happy Thanksgiving, Merry Christmas. This Sunday, my brother Michael is gonna be coming to preach. It's gonna be awesome. You do not wanna miss it. He is just basically a modern day black rabbinical voice. I mean, he is brilliant, been to school. He is so good. He is funny, he's anointed, he's just good. He's someone I talk to at times to make sure I have a correct understanding of the Hebrew of all of it. He is an, a, a highly intelligent, gifted young preacher. You don't wanna miss him on Sunday. Whether you're in the, in the room or whether you're on your square, you don't wanna miss this Sunday and you wanna give in gratitude for what God has done for you. And December's coming and more speakers are coming. I will be speaking on new on Christmas Eve. I have a special word for you. You don't want to miss it. And uh, I can't wait for the new year. We're going to have a time. I've got a word for you. I've got a theme for the new year that's going to be powerful. And um, it's a great thing. Never, ever forget. This is the victory that overcomes the world. It's our faith.